Yeah, six. Look at this little one. Oh, what a cutie. Papa Bee. Hey. Hey. That's her mama. Hi, Papa. Hey, You're a cutie. <laughs> hey, is that your puppy? I know you don't follow us. No, you, stay you stay there. All right, we're gonna go over here and uh, give you guys an update. Ed's over here doing the no, over here doing the uh, beds for the garden. So the there's going to be six total beds. Those all the same size, just like that over there. And then there's there'll be three layers. Three total layers. So the first one's like about a half a hollow block down in the ground. Like what he's doing and then the others will be uh, on top stacked up so, and then we'll fill them partially with rocks dirt whatever we can do and then we will put um, garden, soil. garden soil in it it's trying to make it perfect <laughs> so he adjusted a little because that's fine whatever he wants to So we'll have six total beds. It's going to be surrounded by a steel matting fence, and uh, which we already have. We just got to get some other stuff for that, and then we can start. Uh, Ed's actually got some really nice pepper plants down there by the Kubo, down by the cottage there. So we may get a little start from it. To plant some uh, peppers down here, along with whatever else we want to plant. So, and uh, we're gonna buy some pipes today. And we're gonna get pipe, and we're gonna get the a new netting for the Kubo. the Kubo roof here. And some bags of cement. Yeah, so we're gonna go get that ordered here pretty soon. We'll take Odin out for a quick ride and. Go get that stuff ordered and have them deliver it. And we go to one, our normal place that we go to is a little hardware store over in Cali Kids. So we'll go over there and get that thing care of. So that's the size of the beds. Um, and it's nothing fancy, but the, the issue here is you got you got some people that grow a lot of stuff here and they do a good job but it's just so much work to try and keep the weeds and the grass out of everything yeah. so the the raised beds should help that hopefully and uh, and then keeping the goats out of it will be another big thing so having the yeah we get to keep the cows out now yeah the cows aren't the problem the goats come the goats right through the just fence wandering around and the sheep and I don't care. They can come eat all the grass out here. Yeah, they want. In the back, it's fine. But not when they're trying to eat Ed's uh, kamote plant. And yeah, they try and pepper. they try to eat everything. So we're gonna the, try and keep them out. The yeah. Out of this. So that would be uh, ideal if we can end up doing that. So, so. hopefully we can get the show to you. Soon. Yeah, it it won't take too long. And then we're going to start buying some seedlings. Yep. We'll have everything uh, planted before too long, I think. Well, it starts to rain really, really so. good every day. Yep. Well, then we don't have to water them. So that's it for to, for right now. We'll probably be back later with an update for see what's the progress. what the progress is. So we'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> Ed's still working. I had to give Chunky a bath today because Odin peed on him. So he was trying to pee because he peed. Uh, she, he's squatting or like like a girl. He peed like Iris. And so Odin wants to pee in the same spot and peed on his back. So I had to give him a bath. Now he's taking a dump at least. But Sadie's still inside. She's really slow. I don't know if she's even eating right now. There's a fiesta going on right now, so there's a marching band in here, and we can stop and just... There's a fiesta! We just went out to get gas and that's what we saw. <laughs> Tell them most most barangays. Yeah, most their, barangay do their fiestas. They have a marching band. Marching bands, yeah. Else. So most of them do that. And it usually May is like when there's a lot of fiesta going on here in the Philippines. Yeah. You can see all the um, what do you call that in English? Decorations. The decorations. <laughs> Else you'd call um, it. the decorations for the fiesta. sign that there's a fiesta coming or you know <laughs> it's approaching stuff like that yeah it's usually a good good sign when you see all that stuff up you around know. the roads and stuff and usually a fiesta you know the people that's living where 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 it's at um, they cook lunch and invite everybody you know to just eat and celebrate with them you know so that was awesome so we're going home now before we reach more <laughs> traffic <laughs> so we were we were at a gas station getting gas and, <laughs> Odin's uh, with us Odin's in the back seat with us and he always 
he always sneezes when we get gas because of the smell of the <laughs> gas. So he usually comes up behind me on this side and tries to get a little bit of fresh air and stuff. Well, there was there's a there's a woman there and it's it's a uh, she she's out begging begging for money and uh, you you from time to time you see them around the area um, and uh, you know they they'll they're very persistent they, you know and just they'll they'll come right up to you and they won't leave you alone and uh, which whatever it's fine but. Um, she came up to the window because it was down because I was waiting on to pay the attendant for the gas. She came up to the window and Odin, he didn't he, he didn't try to bite her or anything. <laughs> he, he just stuck his head out the window like, oh, somebody knew. And it scared her to death. <laughs> because Odin is a big, big dog. Man. So that that ended that. She didn't she didn't want to beg for, and for she money just anymore. She walk just away, yeah. So yeah, that was pretty funny to watch. And here's Odin watching. Hi. No, I don't want you kissing me. Go. <laughs> No. Now he wants to drive. He likes to want to drive. You want to drive? You got to take over that. So yeah, that was interesting because that he didn't he didn't growl, he didn't snap, he didn't do anything. He was just like sticking his head out to see who was there. Yeah. And it just the, the sight of him was scared enough. Scared her. Yeah, yeah, it scared her to death. So that was that was funny. And Odin had no idea what he was doing. He's just sticking his head out the door, out the window. Yeah. And it. even the, the, the attendant at the gas station was laughing. Yep. It's because he already know that there's a dog in, yeah. inside. Yeah, it was funny. So, and we're heading back home now. We got our stuff ordered for the oh, garden, yeah. and we're heading back. So, go back and relax for a while. I mentioned earlier that um, Odin peed on Chunky, not on purpose, because he was on the spot where Odin wants to pee, and he's still peeing, so he peed here. So I gotta give Chunky a bath today, so let's do it. And the rest of the dog will be, I will give them all a bath to day two, later. Because tomorrow we're going to have a power interruption for a few hours, like eight hours, I think, from six in the morning to two in the afternoon. So it'll be really hot for the dog. So we're going to do that. So right now, yeah, we're taking, we're giving Chunky a bath. Trying the new shampoo that I bought on Shopee on him. So let's go. Come on, big boy. I know you don't want to. I know. But you gotta, you sit down. You stay. Hey, let's go. You stay there. Sit. That's a good boy. You gotta wash you because all oh, they peed on you. Such a good boy. Okay. Okay.
this is the mess after five dogs so i have to clean it and see look at the mess chance get off the bed so yeah we'll go back to you later remember if i show it to you but this is my tote bag that i crochet this is what it looks like Ta-da! So now I have a tote bag. Well, I can put, um, if you go to the beach or something. That's it. It's bigger than I thought it would be. prepare the extension cord for the AC he already tie it there using a zip tie and tomorrow because we have we're gonna have a long power interruption we're gonna roll out that uh, extension cord to the window and then we're gonna seal the window again with duct tape so we can plug it to the generator and use the AC and all the dogs will be here with us tomorrow here in the room from as long as we don't have power but I already gave uh, the dogs their bath so at least they're already fresh for tomorrow and tonight I will fill some buckets with water because when we don't have electricity we don't have water too so that's what we're gonna do tonight I will do it on the other bathroom so at least because if I do it in the service area there's a lot of moth in the evening flying around the the lights outside so I, can, I don't want all the flat uh, all the moth wings on the water so I will use it in the I will do it in the other bathroom so I have the buckets let's go here in the other bathroom sorry for the noise and fill these buckets with water and this will be the end of today's vlog so thank you guys for watching we'll see you on our next see you on our next vlog see you tomorrow with no power bye bye guys